What's up guys, how you all doing? Adam here and I am back for another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing which I haven't done for quite some time. Let me tell you why I don't usually do unboxings because I get the product and all I wanna do is rip the packaging off and try it out straight away. And it became a little bit infuriating to have to set up all the cameras, do all the B-roll, do all of that kind of stuff, do the unboxing. It kind of took a little bit of the shine off of it. But I'm gonna do these unboxings from now on and I'm just gonna do them straight to camera and that way I can kind of get back to just enjoying the unboxing itself. I think what I'll do in future is get like a top down camera and hopefully that way I can get some better views of the product itself without having to take B-roll. But at the moment, it's just me, the camera and you guys. So we'll have to live with that for just a second. However, I love action cameras and a lot of people say to me, yeah, I bought a GoPro, I bought this, I bought that, but I never use it. I use mine all the time and in fact, I've got several. Um, the one I use the most is this one. This is the little DJI Osmo Pocket, which is essentially like an action camera built into a gimbal and I love this product. I think it's fantastic. I do have a GoPro. I think I've got the 7 Black at the minute. It's difficult to keep upgrading them all the time because they are expensive. Uh, I've also got this, which is the DJI Osmo Action. And although I love the functionality of this, the video and audio quality are not to the level of a GoPro, which is a little bit disappointing to be honest. However, what we're talking about in this video is this. This is the Insta360 1R Twin Edition. <laughs> so you can buy this in different editions, but this one was definitely the most appealing, to be honest with you. And the reason that I'm so interested in this camera and I'm so excited about trying it is several fold. The first one is that it's modular, which is something that I've never seen in any action cameras before. So I love a little bit of innovation in fact a lot of innovation from uh, insta360 on that one and also it's a 360 camera uh, as a module as well and i've actually used 360 cameras quite a lot but i've always found it difficult to get content out of them that you can actually use and from what i've seen from this that's where this really separates itself from other 360 cameras the ability to edit and pull in footage that you can actually easily use in your own videos or in your social media, which I think is probably one of the best places to be able to use it. So let's get into it. Here's the actual um, device itself in the packaging, nice packaging. And let me just show you a couple of things that I got with it. So I got the invisible selfie stick, which we'll come back to. And I also got the bullet time handle, which I believe is the thing that you put above your head, but I'm not sure. And I also got a memory card as well. Let's just read out a couple of the details that we've got here um, on the packaging. So it says in the box, you've got the core, you've got the dual 360 uh, lens mod, which is the 360 cam degree camera. You've got the 4K wide angle mod. Um, you've also got the battery base, a mounting bracket, a lens cap, and a charging cable. So quite a lot in this box. Um, 5.7K 360 degree camera, uh, 4K wide angle capture video, flow state stabilization, waterproof to five meters or 16 feet, invisible selfie stick, auto frame and auto edit, hyperlapse, uh, point to track, voice control, eight times slow-mo, four times slow-mo in 360, HDR photo and video and also night shot as well. Says it's available for both Android and iPhone, so that's always good for people to uh, include that. You can actually buy this product through the Apple uh, store. And I always think to myself that products that are available through the Apple store probably get quite a lot of vetting. So I think most things that you can buy on there, probably give or take based on personal opinion, uh, are actually pretty decent products. Trying to get this out is not going well. This is not made for one shot cam live camera takes at all. This is difficult. I wish someone was here to help me get this out. This makes me look extremely stupid as well because how hard can it be to get something out of a box? However, this just will not come. So 
I think what I might have to do is take a quick break and I'll come back to you in what for you will be a second, but for me will probably be a few minutes. <laughs> Wow, that actually wasn't that easy at all. So here we go. This is the contents of the box itself. So I presume this module here, which is the first one, is actually um, kind of cool the way that you do it. I presume these come apart. How cool is that? So it's literally completely modular. So on this one, this is the 4K wide angle that we've got here. The interface is absolutely crazy. That looks very nice quality though. And then this second little module here, I presume that this is just a viewfinder because it's got like a little screen on the back of it and they just clip together just like that and make up quite a cool looking little camera. I love the branding as well, the red and the black uh, and the nice font, looks really smart. Record button, power button, um, got a little clip here on the side which will be uh, for USB and also micro SD card and then on the side it says flow state stabilization. I'm super excited to try this camera out guys, I can't even tell you. So next up we've then got the 360 degree camera and you can see that it's got a lens on both sides and presumably what you do is you just unattach one module from the viewfinder and, and attach another one, which is very, very cool indeed. I'll tell you something that I saw that I really like on this as well. You can flip it and then you can have the screen facing you. So if you want to take, you know, cell phone type videos or selfies, then you can easily do it and see your framing of the shot as well. So that is super, super, super cool. And this 360 degree camera, I'm really, really looking forward to using this because I believe in the in the edit, you can spin it around and you can just capture the exact positions that you want, which gives you huge flexibility, which I really, really like. Next module up, and these things seem to have very nice build quality, by the way, guys. Although they're modular, nothing feels kind of cheap or plasticky. They feel very, very good quality. This little module here in red is the battery I think it's 1,150 milliamp hour, but fairly chunky little unit there. And then I'm guessing what we do is we simply grab our other modules and then locate the connectors and then you just clip that on like that. And then you end up, oh there you go, it's just powered on. <laughs> cool sounds as well. So yeah, so then you end up with this complete unit. So it's asking me to run through the setup um, but how cool is that? Uh, we've also got in here another little box here, and let's have a look in the contents of that. I'm so, I can't even tell you how excited I am to use this camera. And I thought it would be excellent as well for getting some footage of my car, because uh, so many of you guys want me to do a video on my cars. So what have we got in here? Wow, that is very cool. We've got a little protector for the 360 degree camera. It's like a rubber thing that just looks like it just slides over the top to keep those lenses protected because they are kind of bulging out. So I guess that makes them a little bit susceptible to uh, damage maybe when they're in storage. Let's see what else we get in here. We've got the standard kind of GoPro mount stuff. And then we've got the, what I'm guessing is the waterproof casing. Uh, or makes it more waterproof, or maybe it is just a holder so you can actually put it on tripods and stuff like that. I'm not sure. When I do my full review on this, I'll have all the details of all the specs and everything that we can put up. So let's have a look at what else we've got. We've got the bullet time handle. Let's open this up. Now I've seen, I think I saw a video from iJustine doing this, and I believe it's like um, a thing that you hold above your head. You put the camera on the end of it, and you spin it around in circles and it gives this kind of unique type of uh, look of video. So let's have a look at this. Wow, it feels incredible quality, it really does. Yeah, there it is there. So I don't know how it works exactly, but we'll have to cover this off in the full review. But you've got like this, A, it's a little tripod, very, very nice quality tripod. And then B, this bit on the top, all seems to to spin around so I'll have to work out exactly how that works 
but I believe you hold it above your head and spin it around. In fact, there's a little kind of picture of it there. Let's see if that will, Let's see if that will focus. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, perfect. Um, so that gives you a rough idea. I'm gonna have to look up exactly how that works because by just looking at that, it doesn't really make much sense to me at the moment, but I'm sure it will all become very clear. Then we've also got the invisible selfie stick as well, which is very, very cool. I won't open that up, but it's very cool because when you're holding it on the stick, it makes it go invisible in the actual video footage as well. So it kind of just looks like this floating camera which is absolutely tremendous. Now, like I say, I'm gonna be doing a full review on this for sure, and I think I'm gonna use this as part of getting some video footage for you guys of my car, which I know a lot of you wanna see. So, that'll be very cool. Sorry if this video was a little bit long, it was meant to just be a quick unboxing. I'm super excited to try this out, I'm gonna go and do that now. Thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, please do hit that like button for me, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.